In the previous episode, in order to steal Elsa's throne, Hans had a plan to take advantage of Anna's love for him. However, the close relationship between Anna and Elsa had ruined his plan, which made Hans exiled forever. Nevertheless, things didn't end there. Let's go with Woa Fairy Tales to find out what happened next. <laughs> Even though the punishment was exile, Hans just had to do community service. Here, many people laughed at him. Some even looked down on his personality. Actually, Hans hadn't given up his plan yet. He was waiting for the right time to escape this place. To avoid being chased, Hans had to wander in the forest near Arendelle Kingdom. He kept going, going. The weather was cold then, and just when his body became exhausted, he saw a small house in the middle of the forest. Like a drowning person finds a life buoy, Hans quickly went to the house and knocked. One old woman opened the door. She had one wooden leg. What do you want? Could you let me stay here for a night? It is cold outside and I was... Come in. Not long after going inside the house, Hans discovered that she was a witch. Huh? Feeling that the air inside the house was warm regardless of any burning wood, Hans asked the woman, Ma'am, the stove isn't running, and neither is the heating. Why is it so warm in this room? How strange. You have good eyes, don't you? I have to confess that I'm a wanderer who happened to cross the freezing Arendelle Kingdom. Arendelle? Do you know what caused the ice and snow there? Yes, that was Queen Elsa's power, an entire kingdom filled with snow, although it seems to be melting now. So it is. Queen Elsa, huh? Sensing that the witch didn't like Elsa at all, Hans mm. immediately grabbed this mm. opportunity. Ma'am, did the ice and snow cause any trouble for you? Troubles? Not just that. I have lived here for a long time, and I focus on researching herbs and magic. One day, while I was looking for the herbs on the mountain cliffs, mm. those blizzards approached and dragged me down. <gasps> Fortunately, I'm still alive now, but my leg wasn't lucky like that. When I thought I was going to die, I happened to find this special thing in the mountain. A fire stone, curated from the Thousand Year Volcano. With this stone, I can constrain the power of the cold. Also, this room is warm, thanks to it. If that is true, you can absolutely eliminate Elsa's power! Well said. Absolutely possible. You mean... From the moment I met you, I knew who you were. You also have an enmity with her. Take this stone and use it to avenge me, the one who caused the blizzard and nearly mm. put me to death. Yes, I will help you take revenge. The next day, after being armed by the witch, Hans returned to Arendelle Kingdom. He found an alchemist to make a beautiful necklace from the stone. Then he headed to the palace. He knew that it was the right time. <laughs> Only a few days left until Elsa's birthday, and that's also my chance! He knew that the villagers would gather the presents to send to the queen. Hans planned to wrap the necklace inside a stunning box and sent it to the queen as a present. He pretended to pass the two guards who were bringing the present boxes. Then he dropped one box. Hey man, you dropped one box here! Huh? Oh, thank you! Then Hans left as if nothing happened. On the birthday of Elsa, she and Anna happily opened the presents from everyone. <laughs> Hans's box wasn't an exception. Elsa opened it and saw a beautiful necklace that attracted everyone. Elsa asked Anna to help her wear it. The necklace with the red stone even made her more stunning. But she felt dizzy because her body suddenly became hot. She wanted to remove the necklace, but it seemed to have been cursed and kept sticking on her neck. Uh, this necklace has a problem. Anna was frightened. She couldn't help Elsa remove the necklace no matter how hard she tried. Uh, Elsa, what's wrong with you? Why can't I remove it? 
Hans, disguised as a guard, in the middle of the chaos, he approached and constrained Anna. Huh? <laughs> Hello! Do you still remember me? Hans! Follow my <laughs> order, or you will never see Anna again! Hans, you will never succeed with your evil plans! Elsa was about to use her frozen spells, huh? but nothing happened <laughs> despite her endeavor. Why can I use my ability? Seeing that the stone worked, Hans was satisfied. <laughs> How do you feel when you lose your special power? Elsa, listen to me. Immediately announce huh? that I am the new king, huh? right now. Seeing that there was no other choice, Elsa had to do that to protect her sister. All right, but you must not huh? hurt Anna. You have my word. From now on, the one who rules Arendelle Kingdom is Hans. Huh? Are you still pointing weapons at your new king? Do you want to betray me? Ha 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 ha! Very good. Guards, lock Elsa down! We used to have good times together. Do you still remember me? Take Anna to her room and lock yes. the door! Speaking of Kristoff, after Elsa became the queen, he often paid a visit to Elsa and Anna. Mr. Kristoff, the new King Hans didn't let anyone go inside the palace before the official enthronement. Huh? Hans? Has he become the King of Arendelle? Elsa and Anna are in danger! I must help them! Kristoff decided to sneak into the palace. He made it to Anna's room and helped her escape here. Huh? Kristoff! <laughs> I came to help you. Let's go now, and then you can tell me what happened. After knowing what happened, all suspicion huh? fell upon the necklace. Kristoff and Anna went to find the rock goblins, Kristoff's acquaintance, to ask how to restrain Hans's necklace. When the small goblins shook their heads, huh? the chief goblin appeared. I knew about this stone. To save Elsa, you have to find an ice stone on the snow mountain. It took a thousand years to shape one. It can fight back the fire stone on that necklace. <laughs> Anna and Kristoff's team set off on their journey to the thousand year snow mountain. The way there was dangerous to go. That moment, Hans with his mercenaries found them. They chased Anna's team and fought with them. Fortunately, Thanks to his skillful driving ability, Kristoff can ensure the safety of his companions. Stop there! I know what you were up to! More surprising, an ice golem appeared from nowhere blocking the road. You shall not pass. Right when Kristoff's cart reached the summit, the ice golem punched the ground and unfortunately hit his cart. Hans saw that there was a monster, so he ordered the guard to stop. This monster will help me solve the problem. What a lucky day. Let's return now. <laughs> Nothing can be luckier than Anna's fate, as she fell down right where the ice stone was born. Miraculously, the stone gave Anna a new power. Anna was frightened. Every time she moved huh? her hand, ice flew from there and huh? caused trouble to her friends. No, huh? I am not. Luckily, she soon got used to her new power. Huh? <laughs> they returned to the kingdom, but Anna and Kristoff were still alive. <laughs> With her new power, it didn't take much time for Anna to defeat Hans's troops. Facing such great power, Hans had no other way but to surrender and was put in jail. Anna freed Elsa, but she was really weak then. Anna looked at her unhappily. She hugged her sister and used her power to remove the Fire Stone and gave Elsa energy. The Ice Stone inside Anna sensed something. It left her hand. The two stones kept spinning and blazing that made everyone <laughs> unable to see anything. Eventually, they got rid of each other and disappeared. 
Together with that, Anna <laughs> lost her power. Elsa soon recovered. With Hans, this time, his homeland didn't accept him anymore. <laughs> He had to live in Arendelle's huh? prison for the rest of his life. It took Elsa a long time to completely recover. Luckily, huh? the two stones didn't leave any sequels. After those difficult times together, Anna and Kristoff fell in love with each other. Eventually, they had a wedding and lived happily forever after in the peaceful Arendelle kingdom under Queen Elsa's rule.